What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. Today, we're doing an unboxing and review of this Brio Beardscape. Okay, first things first, a big thank you to Brio for sending us this beard trimmer. Excited to review it. If you're a company out there who would like your product reviewed, please reach out to us and you can send us your stuff. Doesn't guarantee we're gonna review it, but we'd like to share some new products to our audience. Okay, so in the box, I got two things. The beard trimmer, and we've got this travel case. So we'll get it open, the travel box first. Let's see in here. Ooh, this is pretty nice, like a nice belt lined interior. It's got uh, stuff to hold it down, and uh, let's open up the box and see what's in it. So the first thing about this is this box is super nice. Comes wrapped, protected, the side, the back, the other side. Feel free to pause this at any point if you want to read what's on the packaging, and then some branding on the top, the bottom. Cool, so let's get in here. Whew. Okay, in it is, looks like an instruction guide. Get a discount code. And here is the package, it's almost very Apple-esque. You get the trimmer and the charger. And let's see here. Underneath you have, it looks like your accessories. All right, so let's move that out. We'll get all the pieces laid out. Trimmer. Okay. These look like we have the guards, alright, so we've got the charger port, we have USB charger, uh, this oil helps lubricate the blades, and one thing you'll notice about this is it's got ceramic blades, and uh, it's paired in with, uh, I believe it's a titanium metal, um, but according to Brio, this is going to move faster and give you a uh, sharper cut. Let's uh, turn it on. Let's see if it has any batteries. Hmm. Nice. And then uh, it looks like you have four guards here. But it appears that in reality, these are different lengths. So you'll see uh, one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter, six millimeter. It's nice that they have it on both sides so you can really make sure you're pointing in the right direction. 18 and 15, that's pretty slick. And then in addition to that, you have the ability to gradually move up the blades. And what's nice about that is you can really master your fade because this is gonna be approximately, I'd say like four millimeters, well, of depth difference, um, maybe two millimeters. I'm not a millimeter a <laughs> um, The other nice thing about this is you have uh, this lock-in feature. So you're only going to be able to move it if you press the button, uh, whereas it looks like if you don't do that, it's going to lock in place. And let's see what these pluses and minuses do. Uh, that's slick. So you can see here, you can up the speed, 70 RPMs, and then it also tells you how much time is left on the trimmer. So if you're going at a slower RPM, obviously you're getting more time. 
Uh, if you really want to get that sharp cut, you crank up the RPMs. And uh, one thing that is special about this versus probably um, some of the cheaper options out there is this has like a, a battery that is bigger than most competitors. And that battery is going to give you a longer shelf life. It's going to um, cut a little quieter as well. I mean, you heard this. And uh, and then the stand um, looks real nice in the stand. So this would plug in to this. And then this, you'd be able to plug into your bathroom outlet. The other thing is, this is what it'll look like with the guards on. So one millimeter, and it clips in, nice and secure. It's a very short guard you have going on there. And again, one millimeter, you're able to make those changes. Personally, I think it's pretty cool that they have um, these um, guards where it's two up, it's real clean. Now you only have four guards to worry about, whereas every other one on the market that I've dealt with with, with guards is like you've got a whole bag that you have to, to manage. So let's see how this fits in to the travel case. I would think this goes in this and then um, the other alternative is probably your charger if you're going to be traveling for a while so I think you kind of have to play around with the charger a little bit as to what are the important elements you need. You notice one thing about this is there is the stand and there's also the ability to plug directly into the trimmer. So you don't necessarily have to carry the stand if you need to do a little bit of traveling. So you've got that flexibility. If you've got a computer, you could probably just plug it in here, charge straight from that bring this as well. The one thing you're going to want to make sure you do is this is kind of the notch for these guides. So when they come down, you're going to want to make sure that you can see that these notches are right in the middle. And how I would imagine you, you have it right by looking at the metal part and how it lines up with the, the plastic guard. So if you're off too low, something like that, or too high, you're going to have a little bit of issue. So keep an eye on that as you use it. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it pops right in. Flip it around. Pops right in. Cool. So I'm going to be doing, in another video, I'm going to uh, do a maintenance trim with this beard trimmer and see how it performs, see how it works, and see how I'm able to maintain uh, a shorter beard uh, and give you the recommendations for which attachments to use and which not to use. So um, there you have it. This is the Brio Beardscape trimmer. Nice high end, it feels strong, it feels sturdy. The case is nice. Uh, it feels quality. It feels like it's something that, that's going to last a while. And uh, I think it's something that you'd be proud of owning. So there you have it.